everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 8th, 9th and 10th of November. And I'm going to start off for Friday with a card from this uh, lovely Cosmic Ordering deck by Barbara Moore, who wrote the book Cosmic Ordering. And I just really want to see how we can start to set our intentions for the weekend, because that's a really powerful thing for us to be doing, rather than, uh, you know, trying to figure out what's going to happen deciding what we'd like to happen and asking the universe for help with how to become more positive in our thinking, how to become more aware of how we can be more in control of what's happening or what's about to happen. And the card I've picked here is be assured that life gives you tasks that you are able to deal with. If you have big problems, it means you also have big powers to deal with them. Unconditional love for your own self unfolds these powers so that's wonderful so okay if you have a big challenge right now it means that you have big gifts it means that you have a big heart it means that you have a big capacity to deal with things it means you have an immense capacity to call in divine help to channel help and to rescue yourself okay so uh, that was what I was just hearing as well while I was um connecting with that because sometimes we are sending out the energy of wanting to be rescued by the angels and what they're asking us to do now is to be empowered to walk with them by our sides with real intention of what we are hoping to create because we need to be able to do that for our world right now and so when it comes to our personal lives we really do need to be able to do that so it's really a question of being very very clear and saying angels this is my intention. I would like you to help me with it if it's for my highest good, okay? And to show me if it's not. Right, so that's great. And understand that you're never given anything more than you can handle. Right, crystal clear intentions, perfect. So for Saturday, <laughs> once again, it's a very, very powerful weekend for clarifying our intentions, for being really, really certain of what we are creating, of which direction we are choosing at this point. Because the feeling that I'm getting is, I feel as if someone's going whoosh from behind. So I feel as if whatever we are focusing on now, there is gonna be an immense push from the universe to allow us to go even more powerfully into that path. So this weekend, get really, really clear that the path you're choosing, the path that you've been examining and creating intentions around is fully in alignment with who you really are, what you came here to do, and the message that you are bringing to the planet at this time. And the card says, um, it's Archangel Michael's card, of course, because who else could help us to be extremely clear? I think of the, the sword, uh, of truth with Archangel Michael when I think about the clear intentions. Use that sword correctly. Use it to point you in the right direction. It says be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So make sure that when you're about to focus on something with unwavering faith, it's the right thing. So be careful what you wish for because these are the times when it could very easily manifest. Now for Sunday, let's pick something colourful and maybe a bit laid back, maybe not. Something that will help us, that will tell us how we can gain clarity over this weekend regarding our intentions. And it says, overcome your challenges. Great. So I'm going to pick another card. And the sense that I get with this is, as I look at it and I see that there's all this mist, it's, it's just very, very misty. There's a very powerful light in the center, but it's surrounded by this mist. And what I want to say about that is that when we talk about overcoming challenges, what we're really saying is, Remember that that light is always there, burning away inside you. That passion is always there. That dream is always there. That vision is always there. And once that flame is lit, there is nothing 
that will put it out. So go with the flow, roll with the punches if there are any, and with any challenges at all that you're experiencing, just be very aware on Sunday that beneath all of the fog and all of the cobwebs, there still burns very brightly a very, very powerful intention to do what you came here to do and to do something really, really astounding. And sometimes those clouds are really just there to give you a chance to reassess, to reevaluate, and to clarify or re-clarify your intentions and to really appreciate when you are going forward. Ah, uh, yeah, I really know now that this is what I want. Okay, and finally, enjoy clear hearing. I just thought I'd give us another card for Sunday. And I just want to say again, because this card seems to come up a lot at the weekend, cards to do with clear hearing, clear audience and really connecting and tuning in. So make use of the energy on Sunday because things do seem a, bit, a little bit more quiet usually in most parts of the world and just get very clear about your intentions and then ask, run it by your guides and just sit quietly, spend 10 or 15 minutes just saying, I'm not asking for an answer. I have no expectations in this meditation. I just want to feel the presence of my higher self and my guides and I want to hear through my heart or through any other faculties that everything's okay and that what I'm choosing is for my highest good. I want to be reminded if I need it of who I am and what why I'm here and what I'm doing at this particular moment. So have a great weekend everyone. It's going to be another really powerful one. Have fun. We've just had a new moon as well, a big one. So keep putting those intentions out there and enjoy. And I'll be back on Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye.